All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ben Pekulski here. You ask, I answer 50 questions as fast as I can. There's supposed to be yes or no questions, but I see a lot of you guys didn't put yes or no questions. I'm gonna do my best to answer them as fast as possible. Go. I know it's important to drink a lot of water in a day, but I found mixing aminos in a gallon jug of water tastes, works for taste, and, and I get my aminos. Is that okay? Sure. Uh, you may be getting a lot of sucralose, so maybe try, try to find an amino that doesn't have sucralose, ideally stevia sweetened. Um, 30 sets for biceps and triceps, too much for growth, yes or no? That's from Burak. Uh, man, it always depends. It, it, it's not too much if your body's able to recover from it and if you've been doing something appropriately progressing up to that. The idea with any type of training program is you want to do the least possible amount of work to get the most possible growth so it gives you growth potential in the future. If I start doing 50 sets now, what could I possibly have to do in the future to, to uh, elicit growth, right? Caffeine bad for a muscle pump, yes or no? Caffeine is technically a vasoconstrictor. Um, so some people say it may be bad for a muscle pump, but I think for my opinion, the personal, the actual positive benefit of caffeine is much greater as being uh, improving energy and improving neural drive. So you're able to focus more, you're able to push harder, probably gonna increase the pump longer. And I think that the idea of being a vasoconstrictor is pretty minimal. How do you make your arms look, I'm just paraphrasing this. How do you make your arms look more thick in a front relaxed pose? Think about this, bro. Um, when you, most people do a front relax, it looks like this. You're seeing the thinnest part of your arm. If you internally rotate, now I see the thickest part of your arm. That's your easy solution, right? That's number one. Push-ups after a chest session, good or not? Sure, man. I think push-ups are one of the best exercises ever and uh, one of the most underrated. Do it, by all means. I mean, I do push-ups. I like push-ups. Maybe even do them on your off days to increase the neural firing and the recovery. Push-ups aren't, aren't going to tend to uh, cause muscle damage unless you're doing hundreds of them. So, but they're a great way to improve the neurological um, firing and improve recovery. Should women train differently than men? Great question, Karen. Depends on your goals, right? Well, most women don't have the same goals as me. Most people don't want to be as big as humanly possible. Um, so I guess the answer would then be yes. Uh, so always train towards your goals. But if, if women and men both want to be appropriately healthy, fit, and muscular, Women shouldn't be training with higher reps and light weights, I'll tell you that much. Do you use dairy? No, not really. Uh, other than whey, no. <laughs> has there anybody, ever been any proof that consuming cocoa has myostatin inhibiting properties? No, man. <laughs> Someone said that arms and calves should be, should be within one inch from one another as far as target, target size for symmetry. Is that a good rule of thumb? Well, it used to be that they should be the same, but if you're in the IFAB, there should be about a five inch difference between your arms and your calves. I think there's maybe one guy in the IFPB, maybe two, who have their calves anywhere near the size of their arms. Evan asks, um, your training focuses largely on time under tension. Do you deliberately ignore the fact that intensity, in quotes, load, is one of the most important variables of uh, training variables? Nope. Uh, that's one of the most important things that I teach is tension, right? Uh, uh, increasing the amount of tension. Load is not actually one of the greatest training variables. If the word is tension. If someone tells you load, they're actually ignorant and, and studying it improperly. I'm teaching people maximum time under tension. Maximum amount of tension, maximum amount of time under tension. So I'm, that's, that's actually what I teach. The number one thing I teach is teaching people how to maximize the amount of tension or torque in a muscle. Good question, Evan. Uh, take five grams of creatine post or pre-workout? That's Lorenzo. Uh, Post-workout has actually recently been shown to be better. Uh, is smoking killing your gains? Probably so. Uh, probably hormonally, who knows, man? Some pro bodybuilders smoke, I don't know. Keynes asked me, Pepto Pro versus highly branched cyclic dextrin. Those are complete two different things, man. Cyclic dextrin is a carb, Pepto Pro is uh, aminos. So uh, take them both. Um, is maximizing flexibility optimal for strength and hypertrophy? Maximizing flexibility will only ever happen if you give your body the appropriate amount of uh, stability around a joint. So. Stability comes from strength or integrity at muscle musculature. So uh, there's all this big correlation, right? I, I would say, is flexibility optimal? Or is flexibility, yeah, is maximizing flexibility optimal? Yes, but not by stretching. Stretching may not be the best way to do it. Uh, can anyone turn pro with the right methods? No, not anyone. Um, definitely not. There's a certain degree of uh, genetic, there's a certain degree of um, Athleticism, there's, there's, there's quite a bit involved, man. Not anyone, but most people I think probably could. I'd say 80% of the population could, certainly not everybody. Um, it's many factors there. Uh, do drinking BCAs during the workout help? Yes, I've done many videos on this before. Uh, it's the idea behind, or the idea around um, digging a hole during your workout or digging a trench. 
And ideally, you don't want to dig a trench. You want to dig just a little hole so you can kind of get yourself out of it. So by taking BCAs, uh, you kind of prevent yourself from, from digging into your muscle fibers too deep so you get, you, your energy stores become really depleted. What are the pros and cons of IGF-1 and 2 used for supplementation, bodybuilding, and other sports? Pros, anabolism, um, cons, uh, anabolism, <laughs> you know, uh, there's both positives and negatives to that, right? Should we work out with heavy weights sometimes? Of course, absolutely should, Yuri. Uh, does high volume training cause your body to become catabolic? Uh, only if you're not eating appropriately, um, Stephanie, uh, eating and supplementing appropriately. What is the best exercise to gain mass on your delts, front and rear? Uh, depends, maybe shoulder presses and bent dumbbell laterals. Can and should protein cycling last for longer than two, a two week period? Are you referring to types of protein? Uh, yeah, it should be longer than two weeks. It should be at least four to six weeks. Cardio, steady state or hit? What are your thoughts or recommendations? I'm a hit guy all the way through. Steady state just seems to make less and less sense the more, uh, the older I get and the more intelligent or the more I learn. Jack, should I load on creatine? No, Jack, not an essential. Uh, can you say no and yes at the same time? Perhaps. Is casein the best supplement to take before bedtime? No. <laughs> Is it true that what Tom Platt says, leg presses don't build big legs, only squats can do that? <laughs> um, why are you against casein? There you go. Uh, casein, from my perspective, is more of an anti-catabolic protein as opposed to an anabolic protein. And the reason I say that, uh, anabolic, the process of anabolism requires protein synthesis to be stimulated and casein actually doesn't do that. It doesn't have enough leucine. So getting the slow release protein, as some people market it, isn't actually doing what you think it is. It's kind of like veggie protein. It's not actually gonna be enough leucine to stimulate protein synthesis unless you're adding leucine to it. So in which case, you just probably take whey protein anyways. Great question, Tyler. What is your motivation to, to begin and stick with bodybuilding? Uh, to do things that nobody, including myself, thought I could do, and uh, including still maintaining that now. I mean, well, now I do it because I want to be 1% better every day, and, and I think I could figure out this whole uh, myth behind training. Uh, do you rate occlusion training? That's Dave. Yeah, Dave, it's, it's effective, but also could be potentially dangerous. So depending on your level of health and fitness at the time, uh, be considerate. Good question, John. I like this one, man. Uh, is it beneficial to, to do a 20 set leg marathon a few times a year in order to shock the muscle? One, 20 sets is not a leg marathon. Perhaps 20 sets for one exercise would be a leg marathon. Absolutely, man. I talk about this all the time. I'm the biggest advocate of ball building workouts. So get outside your comfort zone and do shit that is hard so that when you come back and do a normal workout with somebody else, it's, it's easy for you. I think you should do a ball builder workout once every six weeks. Uh, meaning do something that's so uncomfortable, it sucks, it hurts, and it makes you a man or makes you a better person to, uh, be, to have done it. Do you think cycling calories is a good way to build lean mass? Absolutely. Uh, do you incorporate eccentric training with the tempo on the eccentric greater than four seconds? Absolutely. Uh, can you train chest and abs three days a week? Absolutely. Um, is strength training needed in a hypertrophy split? Good question. Yes. Should fatter people above 30% revise their diets to consume a more keto style diet for optimum results? Keto is probably the fastest way to lose body fat, without a doubt, but it's not necessarily the best way to optimize performance. And remember, keto is not necessarily high protein. Keto is high fat, low protein, low carb. Um, so yes, it's probably the best way to lose fat fastest, but your performance might suck. So it's gotta be one of these balancing acts. Um, what is your favorite form of hit? Uh, prowler, uh, and uh, Wingates. Is high volume training good for natural bodybuilders? Yes. It's all about what your body is able to recover from, what you're able to uh, appropriately um, progress your way to in enduring. Are hack squats and stiff legged deadlifts a suitable replacement for squats? <sighs> yeah, anything could be a suitable replacement for squats. Squats are not necessarily the best quad building exercise if that's what you're after, quads and glutes. It's, squats are more about systemic growth and, and getting your most bang for your buck. Is taking seven grams of leucine supplement two times a day too much? Uh, nope. Uh, the best way to practice vacuums on your hands and knees, sucking your belly button to your spine. Um, should you take in large amounts? This is a great question. Should you take in large amounts of BCAs and essential amino acids on your ketogenic diet? Joe, probably not. Probably not. Uh, actually, definitely not. Um, Unless you're trying to be a bodybuilder, in which case maybe you need it. Do you feel the big three bench, squat, and deadlift are important for a beginning bo bodybuilding competitor? Yeah, 
Uh, absolutely. Learn, learn hard shit. Don't learn bicep curls. Learn how to do shit hard. It'll make you a better person. Leg extensions first or last and a leg day or both. Doesn't matter, man. I like to do them first because I like to warm it up. Uh, what's your pri price to train, pe train people? I don't. Will three days off my diet ruin my progress? Uh, no, but it may ruin your habits and it may ruin your momentum. So, is undulating periodization better than linear periodization? Probably. Is Charles Glass's technique for lateral raises better than better for medial delt development than typical technique? Well, no, it, because it's going to destroy your shoulders. I don't highly, I don't recommend doing Charles's internal. Charles, Charles does internal rotation like this. It's probably the worst thing in the world you can do for your shoulders. <laughs> Mike, do you think Branch Warren is handsome? Mike, no. <laughs> uh, stretching between sets, no. Unless you're stretching the antagonist. Best way to build trap height: shrugs. Uh, I don't be, I don't believe shrugs are valuable for anything other than trap height, which is basically the top third of your trap. All right, I think that's a lot of questions. We're probably running out of time. Can you overdose on carnitine? Uh, I don't think so. It's just a B vitamin derivative, so you probably, uh, B vitamin, sim similar to B vitamins, so you'll probably excrete it. What's the best way to add thickness to your back? Learn to execute things properly, and then do lots of rows. When will BPAC compete again? Arnold, 2014, starting this week. Is MI40 the best program for building muscle? MI40's value is in the videos. There's tons of value in execution videos. It's a very well periodized program, bottom line. It's, it's well put together, it's hard. It's, um, the execution videos are amazing and there's a ton of science behind it. Um, why is muscle confusion so effective? Uh, muscle confusion is, is a term that essentially means varying, strategic variation, varying angles and varying um, stimulus. So all that really means is hitting stuff from a different angle and doing things differently. So you're hitting uh, many different muscle fibers, so it's gonna work differently. This is a valuable question. Is there any way to maintain proper muscle fullness during cut and low carb diets? My problem is my muscles look so flat on low carb days. It's probably because you don't have as much muscle as you think you do. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, muscle fullness is usually uh, a result of muscle size. So your muscle fibers just may not, may not be as thick as you think they are, bottom line, right? If you diet away your muscle, it's not really that much muscle. It's probably intr intracellular fat, intracellular water. You don't probably lose that much muscle on a diet. Most people are kind of usually confused on that. When dieting, is it better to do fasted cardio? Last question from Stuart. No, uh, not in most cases, unless you're looking to lose optimal amount of weight, not necessarily optimal amount of fat. So there you go, that's a lot of questions. Sorry if that was a long video. Hopefully you guys got some good, valuable answers. Ben Pekulski, MI40 University, out. Kassim knows it all, and he's my research guy. Um, so when I need something, he's my go-to guy. So we're gonna teach you guys about alkalinity, 